All right, since I'm standing between you and lunch, I'll keep it brief, and we'll talk about something I think, I think at least, that's really cool, which is making drugs. So not the Breaking Bad kind, the good kind, but making drugs is actually really hard. And not only is it really hard, but it costs a lot of money. The average drug takes 10 years to get through its process before it even gets to a patient, and $2.6 billion, which is just crazy. And not only is the process hard to get from you know, the research scientist all the way to the patient, but the actual manufacturing of that drug is also incredibly complex. And what's really interesting is that drugs are going through a big change. You know, we're going from drug, types of drugs that you guys are familiar with that are like Tylenol, you know, little pills that you take, they're over the counter, to way sophisticated types of drugs that are now personal, where each individual person will have a drug that's made for him or her. And so when you're operating in an environment that is this complex, we decided as a company to focus on providing a solution to empower the workforce in this world. Because the humans in this space have a lot of challenges that they go through on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, the drugs that have to get out the door, they're not like, when you think of manufacturing, you might think of like Tesla. You know, I'm a, I'm a guy, I'm a, on an assembly line, and I'm trying to get a car, a Model 3, out the door. It's not like that when you're making drugs. It's a f sometimes four-month process to go from seed stage to cell culture scale-up to centrifugation to ultra-filtration to then packaging and all the way out the door to the patient. And it's a really challenging process. And so for the humans in this space, they are required to ensure that that drug that gets to you and your family and your loved ones is that it's produced uniformly, meaning it's the same drug that gets out the door every time, that it's reliable, so that this is the exact same type of drug that uh, came out you know, in a different facility somewhere around the world. But most importantly, the humans in this space are required to ensure that the data that they captured is both, um, is both data compliant or data high data integrity, I need lunch too, as well as ensuring that it's compliant. So we took a unique approach. We decided to focus specifically on building a AR solution, leveraging the HMT1, that's focused uniquely on this space. Because the challenges that folks go through in this world are really hard. And so at the core, and DP said it best, the core of AR and VR is really at the procedural level, the process level, the day-to-day -day operations. So we developed an entire platform around regulatory compliant procedures because the other challenge in this space is that not only do you have to have a software solution, but it also has to be regulatory compliant. The FDA and other international agencies, you can't just deploy software into this world. This is software that's being used to make drugs for billions of patients. And so it has to be really unique and really tailored to this space. And so this is where we really focus, and it's the core of what we do. But we've layered in collaboration into it, because when you're working in these facilities, and this is really where we believe the HMT provides a lot of value, you're in a head-to-toe gown. Imagine it's actually similar to clean rooms and semiconductor facilities, but you're in a head-to-toe gown, you have a head covering on, you have a face mask on, you can barely see what you're working on. Sometimes they have three layers of gowning in the space. So imagine where you go to work and you have to have three layers of clothes on, head-to-toe gowns with a head covering. It's really hard to not just do your process, but to collaborate. And so layering in and combining the process capabilities with collaboration is a really powerful value proposition. And doing that all hands-free, while you're interacting with your actual equipment, while you're interacting with drug product, is a really powerful tool for these organizations. And so we absolutely love the HMT. We've been using it now for years. Um, we feel that the HMT itself provides a lot of capability. But where we've gone the next level is by being able to focus on a space like this, we've noticed that it's not just about following a process. You know, typically when you think about procedures, it's like following a process. Okay, what do I have to do? And then using technique, you know, how do I do it? 
But the big thing that the HMT allows us to do is capture data, capture live process data, capture operational data, and using that forward-facing camera. You know, the excitement that we had earlier today about the improvements to the camera, we love them because we're using a ton of computer vision. And so what we're doing is we're using the forward-facing camera to capture data in real time using compu computer vision and machine learning. So this way, when you're in a three-layer uh, head-to-toe gown, you can't really write stuff down. Frankly, they're not even allowed to bring paper into their suite. The terminals are really lock and key. And so being able to do this totally hands-free and just by capturing, just capturing data just by looking at something is a really cool capability. And so we love the HMT for these reasons and many reasons beyond it. But really, it's being able to interact with your process, your day-to-day -day operations, totally hands-free, and then use that forward-facing camera to capture the data as you're going through your process. And so we've deployed this all around the world now. And a lot of it starts with, com with the um, telepresence, which we build in. But really, it's down to the day-to-day -day operations. And so uh, one of our customers, one thing about pharma that's uh, a double-edged sword is that they're great to work with. We love them. Uh, but they never let us use their name. So they're a top five biopharma that we work with. And this is the type of equipment that they use to actually make drugs. There's little cells that are grown in these bioreactors over time. It's months that it takes to get a drug out to market. And so we allow them to go through their entire end-to-end -end drug process, allow them to follow what they need to do, capture all the data they need, and really provide a way where they can increase the level of understanding as they're going through their process and ensure that they are documenting correctly. Because again, this is, these are drugs that are going into the bodies of people all around the world. And so we took a unique position in this space to focus in on something that is near and dear to us. Uh, and so we love using the HMT in this space. Our customers love it as well. And it really provides an incredible way to go through your day-to-day -day operations and capture the data you need to be successful to ultimately, in our case, get drugs out the door to patients around the world. So with that, I'll keep it nice and brief and let everybody go to lunch. Uh, but we'll, we have, Gary and I will be over in the demo area as well as the AWE tomorrow if you want to stop by and see the solution. So thank you, everybody, and really excited about new features at HMT.